Good morning and welcome back. You see, I've got this mocked up already where I'm putting my uh, my cross beam in here. This is what we're gonna be working on today. longer than what these naturally wanted to rest at. That's where I want it. So, I'm going to lash this in place now. Well, I'll talk about that here in a minute because I really couldn't find anything about how to properly lash something like this. So I'm kind of going off and I'm just making up my own stuff again. Let's we'll see if it works. I think that's going to be pretty good because this, what we've got here is the tension of the structure itself, especially once I put that tarp over it, we have that weight pulling down. I think, I think it's going to want to hold it in tighter. My only concern is that if all the weight is being held up at the ridge point, if that's not going to pull this out further. So I do want to, I do want to lash this somehow and try to keep that from pulling apart. So if you noticed, I marked this and then I cut it at an angle. Let me set that down. Cut it at an angle. So I'm going to drill a hole in the side here. So this is my top. Uh, hole goes in the side. I'm going to set that back. Oh, I don't know, about the length of my index finger there. And I'm putting in a quarter inch hole. Now, if I was really, uh, strictly speaking, sticking to bushcrafting uh, ideals, of course, power tools would be out of the question. But, obviously, with the whole pallet wood build, I'm not sticking to bushcraft per se. I'm more about using the, you know, whatever's appropriate and available. I'm almost wonder if that hole's going to be too small. Let me go over here, clean up the other side. Now, of course, if I did want to do something more bushcrafting-esque, I could take uh, I could take it all and do this. It'd be very time-consuming, but it's doable. Uh, there's also augers, hand-powered. Um, in fact, I've even seen some uh, some bushcrafting little toolkits where you have this is the larger stuff, mind you. You'll have the bit for an auger. And then on the, the shaft of that, they'll have welded some kind of either a uh, splitting ring that you would, you would uh, tap down around the wood and, and peel back whatever that cuts off. And you'd have a peg, a dowel almost, the right side for the hole. Those seem pretty neat. Um, I haven't tried any out, so I don't know if they work. But I'm getting way off track. What I really want to be doing is getting this completed. My highly precise measurements there. Oh, before I get up there, I wanted to explain the, uh, the lashing I'm going to be using. All I'm going to be doing is passing the string through this hole, going around the upright, do that several times, and then I'm going to go around this pole, and what that's going to help me do is not just have this little section of wood supporting all that string, but rather it's going to take tension and put, put tension around the entire pole that that string can then pull on 
and and we'll spread the load out here and also hold this together to uh, to keep this from wanting to split apart. <clears throat> Not sure how necessary that is, and uh, also yes, I probably could get away with just like putting a single screw in there. Um, I'm a little leery of that after my experience with the screws on the bottom, but to be fair, uh, those were holding back quite a significant amount of force with that long lever. Don't necessarily think that applies here, but I want to try this out anyway. That's a little off-center. It's crooked. Uh, it's a little crooked the other way. Uh, it'll work. It'll work. I'm almost out of my size 36 twine. I really should order more, and ordering more would take more time, and I don't want to take more time. So I'm going to wrap that with the size 12 twine, which means I'm going to take a lot more times around to get the, uh, the same coverage. Still probably will not be as strong, but that's okay. I've got the size 36 going, uh, connecting the, uh, the horizontal to the upright. I think we'll be fine. Probably overbuilding this anyway, I hope. I say that. It seems like when I think I'm not overbuilding it, it doesn't work. So I'd rather overbuild it anyway. And I need to order more of this.
I would like to apologize for that part because the battery died and I was too busy working on this thing. I didn't realize it. Um, my fault. Should have been keeping better on the battery and I wasn't. But as you can see, it's, well, it's not done, but it's more done than it was. And I am now at a point where I really want to get the top on this. So that's going to be today's project. If I were smart, I would probably bribe a few buddies of mine with, like, beer and pizza and say, Hey, help me put this up. I have never claimed to be smart. Okay, here we go. In order to get this up, I've got to attach it to this. I'll do so with this little rock right here. Put it in here. Kind of like I'm trying to make a ghost decoration for Halloween, right? Give it a little more bite than that. There we go. Pardon me while I whack the microphone with the rope here. Not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, there we go. Or not. Mm -hmm. oh, wrong end. Tie this around. Okay, good. I'm not sure if I went the right way on that one. Now, there. Should be able to hoist away. Let's see if I did it right. All right, here goes. Oh, for the old man. Oh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Try that again.
it's about this time where I'm really wondering, one, did I really need it this thick? Probably not. Two, I'd build this thing sturdy enough. I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't know about this. Have enough? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Wow, that was, uh, on one hand, that was harder than I thought it was going to be. On the other hand, that went better than I imagined it could. So, got it up there. Now is probably not a good time to remember that I wanted to put some moving blankets up on the top. That probably would have made it easier. But I totally forgot about that. Until just now. Ah! What are you gonna do? <laughs>
Wow. That is dark in here. <laughs> well, there it is in all of its monstrous glory. We'll see if this is going to work. I uh, went with such a steep design with the roof to shed snow, but I'm starting to wonder if it's not going to catch too much wind. I think the trees here are going to keep it fairly protected. But one other thing I very quickly realized, like my sense of humor, this got really dark really quick. I'm going to have to figure out something for lighting. I'm not really sure what that's going to be. But we'll think of something. Well, that's going to wrap this up for now. i got to get back home and uh, get some food going for the family. Until next time, you guys uh, get out there, do some cool stuff, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other, alright? Till next time.